Hello again. I hope you're all doing well. We have an enormous heat wave going on in the UK at the minute, so um, the uh, temperatures inside the houses is just through the roof. We don't have air conditioning, or very few houses have air conditioning in the UK. So I do apologise, I've got a fan going and it's going to provide a, uh, a background noise throughout this video, as well as keep moving my hair around, which is in a wind tunnel, I guess. Um, like a movie, not. Anyway, um, I'm sorry about the, the background noise of the fan, um, but I did want to share with you another bag. I, again, have had my fingers in the Louis Vuitton cookie jar. I don't seem to be able to keep them out. That's going to have to change, I can tell you, and I think I'm going to embargo myself until probably fall. But I keep telling myself that this latest acquisition is sensible because it will make the um, a very practical fall and or autumn and winter bag. And I saw it online. Actually, I saw it on a Facebook group and um, the shape just spoke to me and uh, I had to have it. So here is another one of these boxes. And here is the bag. So here it is completely unadorned. This is just the basic shape of the bag with this sort of crescent shape at the top. It has four black leather corners and it has piping around the bottom as well, which one has to be careful of, I suppose. But otherwise, it, I, another reason I thought it was a good idea was that it was uh, it's probably going to be a durable bag in its canvas with the black vachetta or vachetta i suppose one should one should say really if one's french um anyway uh inside it came completely unwrapped again as a, a black leather strap exactly the same as the one on the new favorite exactly the same with um the lovely twist clips. Those are so good because it self-corrects all the time. Lovely, generous clips. And um, they say Louis Vuitton on, on both and on both sides, actually. So exactly the same strap. And then it also comes with a beautiful slim chain, which again, the self-correcting still has the protective pieces on it but the uh, self-correcting twist clips, um, free revolving, and they, and they say Louis Vuitton on them as well. In style, it's very similar to the chain on the new favorite, but it's, it's a lot smaller. In fact, I've got the new favorite because I was going to compare the sizes a bit later in this. So just to show you the difference in the sizes. So here is the bag with the strap on, on its shortest length. This is the shortest length. And it makes it, I think, the most perfect shoulder bag. Just, just fits just under the arm, which I love that style. And here it is with the chain. And unlike the new favorite, I actually do like the chain on this. It's a much smaller chain. And then, of course, you can wear it with just the chain and it becomes what well, are going to be very fashionable, I think, this this uh, season, this coming season. Uh, an armpit bag, do they call them? <laughs> A bag that basically just fits under your arm with not much, not much room to spare. Anyway, I don't think I've even said the name of this bag. It is the Boulogne bag, just like the place on the west coast of France. It's actually where all the ferries go in from the um, from the UK. It's, it's actually not that romantic. <laughs> Maybe they meant the Bois de Boulogne, which is in Paris, and that uh, beautiful wood in Paris where everyone used to drive out at the end of the 19th century, and people now go for a bit of air if you live in Paris. So maybe they meant that, but I, I love the style of this bag. It's just so simple and practical. Um, it has the double zips, um, the hardware, hopefully you can see that. Um, 
have a marked up with Louis Vuitton as well. And then inside, inside, you've got the, this doesn't have a date code, just the new microchip and uh, with where the bag was made, this was made in Italy. It's actually the first bag I've had that's uh, not been made in France. Um, all my other Louis Vuitton bags are, are made in France. And the lining, there is just the, there's just one pocket, slip pocket inside. Otherwise, it's it's just a, a big black hole. Can you can you see that? And it's actually a textile lining. It's not the normal microfiber lining, the one the one that feels like suede. It's not that. It's just a a sort of um. Actually, I could probably bring it out. It's just a textile textile lining. But it's a very practical size. Let me give you the dimensions. So, um, I'll put my glasses on for this. So, the length is uh, 29 uh, centimetres. The height is 16 centimetres. And the depth, that way, is 9.5 centimetres. And those dimensions in inches are... Uh, Lengthways 11 and a half, six and a half in height, and three and three quarters inches in width. The strap drop um, on the short on the shortest length is 31 centimeters or 12.2 inches, and that extends out to 50 centimeters or 19.7 inches. Um, the chain drop is 25 centimeters or 9.8 inches. So altogether, the, the chains are, are very generous and you're easily gonna be able to get them on, onto your arm. I think one of the reasons I like the bag so much is it reminds me of a vintage bag I have. Um, a Gucci bag, actually. Um, this is an old Jackie. This bag is 20 years old. And just the, the overall shape really reminds me of it. And I guess one, that's one of the reasons, I don't know, it just, just spoke to me and I, I wanted to update my collection with a, more, with a more modern rendition of the bag. But it's, um, it's actually a little smaller, but not too dissimilar in size, um, if you know or or have the Jackie bag. It's certainly a lot wider. So that's compared with that. And then here's, and then here is the favorite that I reviewed. So the width is not dissimilar at all. The length is not dissimilar either. It's just taller, but of course, since it's this sort of pyramid shape, um, you can't really use this part of the bag anyway. I love this dress, by the way. It's from it's from Zara. It buttons up all the way. Just Zara and uh, 1999. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And here it is on the middle length. And here it is on the longest length, if you, if you don't clip it at all. And I suppose this is, this is, this is best for the uh, crossbody look. I'm not a huge crossbody fan, but it, you could easily crossbody this on the longest length or use it as a, um, a long shoulder bag on your, on your hip. So here is the bag stuffed with what I normally carry and you can see it is quite full but it's not in the least bit uh, distorted by what I put in the bag and I have actually put in quite a lot zips are really nice so can you see I have actually got quite a lot in there but 
it would still take a pair of sunglasses. So I'll show you, I'll show you what I've got in the bag. I've got quite a lot. A cow shed hand sanitizer, which is, is just wonderful. It doesn't seem to strip your hands. Um, I've got a phone, which I had in the uh, side pocket. I've got the pouch from uh, the Pochette Felici, which um, I really, I really like. Uh, and this just has my meds and um, some other bits and pieces in it, but it's quite a sizable pouch. I've got, this is my key pouch, which um, I'm using as a wallet at the moment in Emperor Leather. It's a really super useful um, little pouch. And I've got this, which I am so enjoying, my mini pochette. Uh, and I've got a card holder, which also came from the um, Felicie uh, pochette, which is really useful. Um, and, and that's it. But this is, this is quite tall. Um, and the other stuff, uh, collectively, is, is a lot. So I think this would definitely hold a bottle of water, because a small bottle of water, because it's 11 and a half inches 11 and a half inches long so it's a really generous bag anyway um i don't know when it first came out i was a little out of the packaging i was a i was a little disappointed and i don't know whether to keep it all up or not it has a very dark look i think because of the um the black leather and the uh the monogram print um and i think it looks really smart and probably in in autumn and winter it will feel just right at the minute it, it does feel dark and i can understand why people love the natural uh vachetta to um relieve the darkness of the of the monogram but this will go with everything and i think will make the most fantastic casual everyday bag i think it'll hold up really well um i'm just not sure at 1400 and Actually, I'm not quite sure. I'll just look that up and get back to you. Yeah, so I just looked up the price. So it's £1,410 in the UK. I'm not sure how much it is in, in the US. Um, and it's currently sold out online, so I think it actually has been quite popular. Um, but you don't have to pay an awful lot more to get a full leather bag. So I, I don't know, but it has a real vintage vibe in a sense. And... It's such a neat little bag, and I can imagine just grabbing it whenever I need to uh, go out. But I do have, I have a number of other bags which, uh, which I could use for that. So it's amazing how we justify things to ourselves. Oh, I've just seen on one corner it says um, Louis Vuitton Paris. On, the, on that corner. Yeah, it's amazing how we, we justify things to ourselves. I don't have many more. I only have one other monogram bag, though, apart from uh, I have the Pochette Matisse, Matisse in, um, or Mitty, uh, Pochette Mitty in um, reverse monogram. I have that one. But this is a very light bag, extremely light. And without this, it would be even lighter. And these can be used interchangeably. Oh, and the other thing which I might be tempted to do is, um, which I, but I I could do this anyway because it's the same uh, the same strap as is on the uh, the new favourite. I might be tempted to. Isn't that cute? I just think it looks so cute. looks so cute or um I bet it looks nice on the longer setting as well so fun playing with these bags isn't that cute <laughs> It's amazing what joy these things can give. But anyway, uh, so I'm not 100% sure what to do with it, um, but it is, it is a lovely bag. Let me know what you think.
and whether you'd be interested in, in getting one. And if it reminds you, I believe this is a remake of the old Boulogne bag, which had uh, leather at the top and didn't have this uh, lovely curving. I didn't get the Yodian because yes, it reminds me of very much of the Yodian bag and it will you, I'm sure, but it's not as uh, deep as, the, the Odeon bag is a much deeper bag. Um, but I do love this uh, double zip get up. Anyway, thank you for watching. And in the meantime, take great care.